Thank you for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And this is part two of mixing a reggae track. Previously, I demonstrated a couple techniques on a different song, but from the same session. And I promised that I would revisit it and show a little more technique of what is referred to as dub, which is using heavy effects and using the mixing console, or in this case, Pro Tools as a instrument and being creative with effects and things like that. So basically what's here is I got drum tracks. Um, I got a couple different reverbs, you know, my preset plates. Um, what's different here is I'm using this to do a little bit of filtering afterwards. And then down the line is what, what I call the dub effect splash kind of reverb thing that, that you do. And I'm using this AKG BX20 spring reverb. And that's the classic sound of the late seventies, early eighties, reggae dub mixing and doing similar thing with the filter here, uh, down the line. I just have my classic non Lin just tucking that in, extending the note a little bit, um, bass track. What's interesting with reggae, what, what might not be typical of any other kind of mix is that I have my rhythm guitar and piano. It does this offbeat skank thing. And basically the piano and rhythm guitar are identical in a sense. You know, there's a couple melody notes and stuff like that that are being played on the piano, but for the most part, they're doing that skank. And so I have them bussing down to an aux track here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because so that I can manipulate it by muting and I can also add reverb and echo and delay splashes to kind of be creative. And I'll definitely explain more about that. So a big part of reggae, aside from the spring reverbs, is the, the various kind of delays. And in this session, I have the repeater. It's sort of a um, quicker sort of delay here. And it's, it's pretty cool. I got it in analog mode and a little bit of spread here. Behind that, I added this harmonizer to do some flanging kind of effect to just, you know, make it a little more creative. And then I have kind of a short echo. Instead of putting this on a stereo track, aux return, I, I put them each on their own mono and pan them hard left and right because this is not a stereo delay unit. And so to kind of fake it i've put two different ones at different delay times to kind of get that stereo spread feel and i did the same thing here with uh two more echoes and um <clears throat> just the longer delay and tons of feedback here you know what's really cool about this ep34 and you know you, you could do it with a couple others but this these do self oscillation really well and that's what's kind of really what reggae is known for is just having these long delays that just start feeding back and then they oscillate and just turn into this really cool modulated sound. So enough of that. Let me just, let me play the track from the top, take a listen to it, and then I'll start it again. And then I'll start adding some effects and kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about by, you know, using a spring reverb and all these different delays. How would I use it? I'll, I'll show you that. So here it is, just as is, without any special dub effects. Okay, so I think you get the idea there. So if you're not familiar with reggae, I'm sure you at least have heard Bob Marley, so you understand um, the style of music a little bit. And basically, it's, it's really heavily drum and bass driven. The guitar and piano are kind of just accents, and it's really just based around that driving drum and bass. So basically, you know, when you start a reggae track, it's like you want to have a really fat bass a fat kick drum and just make it pumping and then typically a nice cool reverb on the snare so as you notice i have my verb suite classics i'm using the 480 plates on here and having a nice little lush verb that's on there all the time 
And so to, to give an example here, you heard all that. Let me, let me show you what it sounds like to just add some reverb splashes. And then, and then after that, I'll show you the delays. that's just an example and kind of the idea here is to be very heavy handed. It's, it's meant to be just in your face, shocking, you know, it's just, it's creating a soundscape. So it's kind of cool. You can be creative and sort of, as you notice here, muting in and out the rhythm section. And I had the send for the reverb engaged. And so as you can imagine, you can just do infinite things. I mean, right now I'm just showing you on the fly which is kind of, that's how it was done back in the day. And that's what really um, influenced me was that, you know, they were using the mixing console as like an instrument and they were just twisting knobs and muting channels and just using both hands and just being very creative with what they're doing. And a lot of that stuff is timeless. It's just, it's great. If you want to look it up, look up King Tubby, Lee Scratch Perry, Scientist, Prince Jammy, there's just a ton of people. And that's just Jamaica. You know, there's guys all over the world that have influenced reggae music, Mad Professor in the UK, for example. So, anyways, let's let's move on and just I'll show you uh some delay stuff. So what's really cool, like if you see here, I have queued up um some sends for different effects, and I have the the set uh levels that I want and whatnot, and I can just kind of hold command here and just click them and bypass them in and out. So you can get creative and, you know, I, I can combine a spring reverb with this long delay. And then the next couple bars, I can combine it with a repeater and that delay or in that reverb and so forth. So let me just sh show you an example of that, especially on drums and, and this percussion track is a, a clap so it's kind of like a cool thing to alternate by doing things on this and the snare all right let's take a listen from the top Bye. 
Okay, so as you can see, I can go on for days and days just doing different kinds of mixes, different things like that. And um, especially if there's a vocal, you can kind of bring it in. I don't know if you noticed, you kind of, you know, you can familiarize yourself with the track. So when I'm muting and unmuting this rhythm section, I'm trying to just catch little snippets of the track to kind of manipulate with the echo. And it just, you know, combined with the modulation of the delay, it's just, it sounds really cool. And so you can imagine it's just fun. And um, I like it because it's, it's, it's a historical thing. It was a major influence on me and, and a major influence on a lot of musical styles today. You know, I know a lot of people that collect records and things like that. They just heard these creative sounds and they found ways to implement this into modern music. So hopefully if you've never heard of reggae music, um, you learned something. Hopefully if you have, you still learn something. So again, Thanks for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. Please subscribe to the newsletter, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll check you out next time.